23. Elimination round, right here, live in the wreck. We got Improver. Left side, right side, everybody in between. I say the three, you say the va, and yin. Three! Va, yin, beatbox. <laughs> This makes me so happy because you know an improver entered grand beatbox battle in 2021 you know i really truly thought that even back in 2021 he had the potential to kind of make it all the way um you know through all these years i know that he's a russian champion i think like two time one time i don't know uh but man i think he's genuinely one of the most talented beatboxers in the scene right now um i might be a little bit biased because i think well, he is uh, 
right now today my favorite solo beatboxer in the scene just this kind of style overall i really really vibe with i really enjoy so with that being said i just genuinely think like he's one of the best solo beatboxers in the scene today even back two years ago so like watching his kind of uh showcase elimination in 2021 left a lot to be desired i think um he his approach in 2021 uh, was definitely different than this year's uh, in 2021 it was more of like um it was a little bit ambitious i think like just from like the very beginning he tried to come up with like this specialized routine um that evolved around the grand beatbox battle itself and kind of like was a little bit messy at the end of the day uh wasn't like full fleshed out but this approach here he just kind of took like all his like recent bangers if you guys are like very familiar with him you watch his like uber beatbox videos you'd be very familiar with most of what he did here. But he took, like, everything that was great about, like, his kind of style and encapsulated it into, like, this four-minute medley. And it was just, like, it flowed together perfectly because, like, that's just the way, like, he is. His, his beatbox just kind of, like, works together, you know? Like, his genre just, like, going from track to track is just, like, a perfect, fluid kind of style. So, yeah. I've heard most of what he did here, admittedly. I haven't seen his elimination here, obviously, but like everything he's did here, I've heard before because I follow his channel very closely. So nothing here surprised me or came out of the ordinary, but man, it just worked out so well, you know, that ending there. So putting the pedal to the metal, really uh, showcasing like a sick kind of like killer combination there at the end with his like unique kind of um, spit snare, I think it was sounded like very different than the usual uh, usual traditional spit snare so um yeah what what more can you ask man that that was a perfect perfect elimination i think in my mind um wasn't like overly ambitious like i thought his 2021 one wild curb was or his uh elimination rather this one was more like straight to the kind of straight to the point like this is what i am this is what i'm capable of doing and also I felt like he found more comfort, like, really, on the stage there. Like, I know he he's not really a nervous guy. He has experience on the stage. I don't know him personally, but, like, just from, like, the way I see him perform, he felt very, like, in his zone and very um, comfortable up there. So, yeah, with all that in consideration, this one here is definitely guaranteed through for me. I don't really have to see all the rest. Um, well, obviously, I do. <laughs> Maybe I'll change my mind at the end of the day, but... Um, and also I do have the knowledge of who makes it through anyway, but, um, this one for me, just based on this is definitely a top eight, make it through to the battles. It was just really good in all categories. So I think the judges really enjoyed it here as well. So killer stuff here from improver really enjoyed this one. So let's move on to ZVD right here. Live and direct elimination round for ZVD in three, two, one, beatbox. Walking through fire, trying to make you feel like home. Dreams turned to nightmares. Am I ready for this road? Walk into fire Trying to make 
make it feel like home Dreams turn to nightmares Am I ready for this Ask the whole crowd if they felt it. Hell yeah. Ask the whole crowd if they felt it. Thank you. Damn. Z V D. All right. So we got Z V D here again. Um, we just saw him in the tag team with Raul, I believe his teammate's name is, and Lotus. So um, they had a very good showing there i personally put them in my top four um they didn't end up making it to through to the battles but it is what it is um but here is solo elimination here first time competing as a solo beatboxer at, at the most prestigious beatbox event so obviously um he has experience prior beforehand in his native region in, in usa so it's not like he's coming up here like for the first time ever performing to an audience but like this is kind of a different environment right a different kind of vibe so nerves definitely play play a factor here for sure i think he might have been a little bit nervous um but you know with, with that being said just like talking about his performance here overall um i can't really complain this is a very very good first first impression uh for his first showing as a solo artist here at grand beatbox battle like he can't really complain he did everything i'd want him to he showcased what he's fully capable of doing for the most part i think um man like when you see this guy, like, it, honestly, man, like, his kind of, like, style, his, like, new school kind of style, right? Like, this is genuinely the future. Like, him and, like, a handful of other people are, like, the future of of the beatbox scene, I think. Like, it's, like, that's the reality, I think. You just, like, look at what he's capable of doing, like, what he did here. And this wasn't, like, honestly, this wasn't him, like, at his peak you know um because of like all the factors i kind of mentioned like this is is a difficult thing to do to kind of perform under this kind of environment and like stress right so although we did see like a showcase of like what he's capable of doing i feel like there's some things here that just like wasn't um probably what he imaged or like like he set out to kind of like accomplish here like for one i think like overall his structure a little bit was I wouldn't say sloppy it was just like his arrangement of like particular sounds and like his um he was taking like little breaks in between that was kind of like um messing the flow a little bit like that's probably like the two biggest things I took took away from this but man like <laughs> he's an absolute like beast he's an absolute killer so like it almost didn't really matter to me honestly like those two flies but I think like 
when you're judging this like objectively, you can kind of like see um, on the faces of the judges there. Um, like even if you compare this to like what Improver did like in his um, elimination there, Improver was kind of like, you know, from the start to the end, it was like a consistent flow. Uh, ZVDs kind of had these like breaks multiple in between like more than you'd ideally want and kind of like ruined and like i wouldn't say ruined the whole elimination it kind of like broke the flow if that makes sense like um it took a lot away i think um so maybe like i don't want to go into spoiler territory uh, i probably ruined it already just by saying that but um i think like we'll be seeing a lot more uh, of zvd um in the future you know I just, if you guys like are, are familiar with him you watch his like stuff regularly if you haven't i highly suggest go watching his wild card for the florida beatbox championships that's going to happen this year like this summer i think like that's absolute peak cvd like the, the level of creativity in that wild card um it's absolutely spectacular so like if, if you watch that then you come back and watch this or like vice versa just know like he's very very good like here but like his full capabilities are like absolutely like insane like incredibly insane so i wouldn't like look at this and take away like this is like his cap or anything like you know this is like his first time going up here man and like again it's nerve-wracking i can guarantee it so um and like even with that being said like he didn't make any like crazy blaring mistakes or anything it's just like some things weren't like fine-tuned in in the moment if that makes sense and like that probably wasn't even like his full uh, vision of like what he had initially planned for his wild card or sorry his elimination so i don't know i haven't talked to the guy like personally so i don't really know i'm just kind of like spitballing and like going by what i've seen here because like i'm a massive fan of zvd uh, i think he has so much potential and i think he will genuinely be like the future of, of the of the solo beatbox scene just like him his his kind of style you know and like what he brings at the table in terms of like his creativity and like his like special sounds and like his um yeah just his overall skill set i like as a beatboxer right so but again overall i think he did very very well for his first time here and yeah i enjoyed this one a lot but man i know that it had potential to be like even better just because of like i know how capable he is as a beatboxer today so just imagine how good he'll be in the future you know it's absolutely mind-blowing to think about so anyway uh hopefully all that made sense tried to be like a, as thorough as i could but you know uh you know how i operate here i just kind of go like <laughs> right from the get-go you know i don't do multiple takes and i don't like edit my video or cut it up i just kind of like splurge out you know how i feel about something immediately so yeah nothing really much else for me to say there so killer stuff from both of these guys um man you know it's really hard for me to talk about this stuff too knowing ahead of time what's going to happen without trying to spoil it you know um it's so it's so difficult to not spoil stuff because i know like some people who watch my videos don't know the results of it and i piss them off sometimes i can tell because they comment in my comments um but yeah, it just let, let you know, it's like, it's not intentional. It's just like, I could cut it out, but I just, that's not how I am. It is what it is, you know? So, um, but anyway, if you guys enjoyed what you heard here, links in the description to the original videos, um, check them out. Go leave them a like, go check out Swiss Beatbox as well. Links in the description to their channel. You want to support me though? Leave a like on this video, sub to my channel. Other than that, um, also check out my Discord channel, links in the description to that. I will see you guys in the next Beatbox Reaction video.